Welcome back to Heritage. My name is Coach Letha, and today we are tubing and grooving. We are gonna do all kinds of great workouts. We're gonna do the format Tabata. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. The 10 seconds is a break. The 20 seconds is as much energy as you can put in for 20 seconds doing the actual exercise. We're gonna combine bands with HIIT training. So just a lot of high intensity cardio training. Okay, ready? We are going to get into a lunge position. We're gonna do 20 seconds, and we're going to do bicep curls while we are in the lunge position. Ready, and go. Good job. Keep those legs steady. And if you need to change it up, you can lunge with the other leg after this set is done. 20 seconds is a great place to start when you're working out for the first time in a while. Good job, good job. And break, 10 second break. And I'm gonna go ahead and change my position. And ready, go. Good job. Make sure you keep those elbows really steady and keep that lunge active. Almost done. We're only doing four rounds of each one. Keep going, almost done. I already feel the burn. And break. I am using a lightweight band today because we are actually doing a lot of reps. We're doing AMRAP, as many reps as possible in those 20 seconds. Okay, 10 second break, almost over, and go. Keep going, keep going. You can drop that back leg if you wanna activate the lunge a little bit more. Keep going, almost done. We have one more left. And great job. Let's change the position and we'll have four done. We'll move on to the next one. Ready, 10 second break is done, let's go. Keep going. Remember not to move the elbows up. We don't wanna do that. We wanna keep those elbows really steady. It's a really solid joint movement. Almost done. Even with this lightweight, I feel a really good burn. Break, good job. Go ahead and shake it off. Let's go ahead and run in place for one minute. And go. Keep going. We're keeping that heart rate up. Not too much though. This is kind of an active recovery. So we're staying active but we're not sprinting because we don't want to use up too much energy. Keep going, keep going. Good job, good job. Almost done with that minute, we're about halfway there. Keep going. And you don't have to let go of that band because we're gonna use it again. Make sure you pick up those feet. Good job, good job, good job. And almost done, keep going. And great job. And onto the second set here. We're gonna go ahead and grab this band, wrap it around our hands once or twice, depending on how long it is. We're gonna bring those arms up and we're going to squeeze and you're gonna fill it in your shoulder blades just like that, your arms only need to go to parallel. They don't need to go all the way down. We want them to come up and down, and this is creating tension, just like this. Don't close your hands all the way. You still want a little bit of tension right there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do this four rounds at 20 seconds each. Ready, and go. Take your time, make sure you're connecting mind and body together making sure those muscles are really working. And depending on the intensity of your band, you may get completely parallel or slightly above it. And that's okay, just keep going. Almost done with this 20 seconds. And great job. Go ahead and run in between if you wanna continue your active recovery. 
or you can just stand still. And if you want to create more tension, you just wrap your hand one more time to create more tension. And ready, 20 seconds, and go. Good job. Parallel, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Squeeze. Well done, well done. And if you don't feel too tired at the end of those 20 seconds, probably should create more tension. Use a different band or wrap your hands again with one more loop of band, just like that. I think I need a little more tension. Take that break. And ready, continue. Go, 20 seconds. Make sure you're pushing, arms are parallel. They're not going too far back and they're not going too far forward. And it's just a straight line from one hand straight on over to the other, just like that. And break. Go ahead and run. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And let's go for the next one. Ready, 20 seconds, and go. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Squeeze. Good job. Sometimes if you have a ponytail, it might get stuck in your hair. Make sure you don't do that. And break. Go ahead and run in place. And let's do the last one. Ready. And let's go for the last one. And squeeze. Great mind-body connection. Make sure you're feeling those muscles tense up. Make sure you feel them activated. Well done, well done. Feel it in your back and in your shoulders a little. And one more, one more. Good job. Now we're gonna go ahead and run in place for one minute again. Okay, ready? Let's bring up the intensity just a little bit. You should be pretty warmed up. And go. Let's go for one minute. Lift those feet off the ground. We're gonna use our band again. So make sure you keep it close by. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Breathe through your nose, out through your mouth. Push, 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 push. You got this. You should feel your body heat rising. Almost done. It's just a minute. You're okay. Almost done, almost done. Keep going, keep going. You got this, you got this. Almost done. A few seconds left. Push, push, push. You got this. You're doing great. And well done. Good job. All right, great job. So the next thing we're gonna do is work on our shoulders. Hopefully your band has enough uh, slack on it so that you can push it up and go like that, okay? We can do combos if you'd like to, or you can just do shoulder press. I'm gonna go ahead and go back and forth between combos and just shoulder press. Okay, ready and go. This is our combo from curl to shoulder press, and you do need some slack on that band to get it above your head, just like that. Great job, I'm gonna do two 20 second sets on one arm, the first one being combo, and my second set is going to be just shoulder press. And well done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my 10 second break and go straight into shoulder press. Okay, ready. Bring it up, start positioning yourself, and go. Great job. Keep going, keep going. Push through it. Let's go, a few more seconds. Woo, I feel the burn. And 
man, good job. Woo. All right, we're gonna change on to the other side and we're gonna do the combo of curl into shoulder press. All right, first 20 seconds on this side. Ready and go. Curl into shoulder press. Curl into shoulder press and your lunge does not have to be too deep. It doesn't have to be super activated for this one. You're gonna see that it takes a lot out of you to perform this combo. A lot of eye-hand coordination and you have a lot of reps to do. And well done. Take that 10 second break. And then we're gonna go straight into shoulder press. And ready, set, and shoulder press, go. Just shoulder press, well done. We're trying not to let our shoulders, our elbows, dip too far down. We wanna keep it parallel. Keep it going parallel with the ground. That automatically creates more tension so your muscles are working when they're down and when they're all the way up. Good job, take a break. Go ahead and run in place for one minute. And now we're gonna speed it up one last time. Not quite a sprint, but definitely faster than the last two. Ready, one minute and go. Push, 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 you got this, you got this. Well done, well done, well done. Keep going, keep going. Not quite a sprint, but definitely faster than just a regular run. Breathe through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Good job, good job. Keep going. You're halfway there. Push, 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 push. You got this, you got this. Woo. I'm definitely getting hotter. Good job, good job, good job. Almost done, almost done. A few more seconds. Almost done. Less than 10 seconds left. And whew, great job. Slow it down. Well done, everyone. Great job, everyone. So depending on your fitness level, you can go ahead and do this round once and call it good. But if you have more energy and you're ready to go at it again, go ahead and rewind this video and perform it twice or even three times. It's really up to you. Either way, you're doing amazing. You're up and moving and that's the goal. See you next time.